I'll proceed to recite the poem I wrote for my uncle, which is titled, Goodbye. I didn't see you wave goodbye. I didn't see your smile, your, your grin, your gentle giant of a spirit one last time. I didn't know you were gone. I didn't know that you had become a song. I didn't know that your absence could hurt my emotions this long. I think the lights were out when you waved. I was too involved with life's dances, so I forgot to turn the page. Turn the page to look in your direction. You were the connection. The fire that gave our coal pots flame to burn away our pain. You shouldered our weaknesses and turned them into gain. Kindness is your flame. Now your embers are the memories. I smile when I look at them, but smiling only brings back your name. Were you laughing when you waved goodbye? I thought I heard your laughter brightening my sadness and my thoughts inside. My conscience is drunk on your legacy, flooded and wet with tears drawn deep from your well of love and devotion. So though my mouth and heart are full of words to share with you, I slip and fall repeatedly like a fool, making conversation angry at the opportunity missed. Jerry, Aja Ben, and Mamiche will enjoy what I now miss. We now fish for moments of you in the clay of stories and pictures, ever attempting to sculpt back the times you were here. I am struggling to close the door and accept that you left. It feels like theft. I don't believe it's real and wish I had gone deaf. But pain is a journalist, crafty in communicating departure like front page news. He exposes our bonds like rapture. I look through the doorway of life where you once stood, hoping to catch your shadow, the wave you last took. But the winds speak of your slumber, revealing that earth closed your great book. Heaven is now brighter, time nothing but a crook. So I stand here and wave, Sending goodbye through our friend pain that I missed the wave of your hand. Goodbye doesn't mean the end, but rather that we'll see each other again. Thank you.